I just wanted to begin with a little story. When I was given the call that I was going to be speaking at this event, I did the first thing that I think a lot of women would do, and that is call your mother. So I doubt my mother, and I say, Mom, I've been invited to this amazing event. It's the Morgan Stanley Women's Leadership Summit, and they've actually asked me to speak. This is fantastic. She goes, oh my god, honey, I'm so proud of you. When is it? And I said, late October. And she said, great, where is it? And I said, Colorado Springs. And she said, great, when should I meet you there, and what hotel are we staying at? I just said, mom, adult women do not bring their mothers to work conferences. <laughs> and she said, why not? And then my response was, they just don't. So that is a brief introduction to my tiger mother, uh, lovingly known as TM by my friends. I was born and raised in Southern California. I'm the daughter of two immigrants. And my parents taught me and my little sister from a very early stage that the pillars of success a hard work, and a great education. And it was so with these things that throughout high school, I worked to get into the best college I could. And when I had to make a decision to go to Berkeley on the West Coast, or to Barnard College at Columbia on the East Coast, that I convinced my parents that, no, I think I need to go away from home and leave my comfort zone because I'm going to study finance or law or accounting or math. And what better city than New York, the home of Wall Street? Cut to freshman year, and after about a month or two, I realized I am not studying any of those things. And in fact, I'm going to study the most impractical thing my parents could have chosen for me, and that was art history. How could you not in a city like New York, surrounded by museums and art galleries and just ridiculous, wonderful architecture? So it was during this time in New York when I basically took every arts internship I could get, a gallery, an art consultant firm, and it was an internship at Christie's in the Chinese Works of Art Department where I think I got the most experience and it was every day I got to touch works of art. I actually got to interact with clients uh, pre-auctions every once in a while. I actually got to do internally type things like shred paper and file. <laughs> but it was one moment when I was in the back warehouse and I was sitting there under fluorescent lights and I was cataloging 300 18th century snuff bottles, sitting there by myself, going like this. All right, that, that matches. Next. Okay, that matches. Good. I think maybe bottle 65, and I thought, wow, I don't think working in the arts is for me. I don't want to be in academia, and I don't want to work at Christie's as much as I loved being surrounded by art. And it was at that point, my senior year, my second thought was actually, how am I going to tell my mother? is not going to work out. So I decided to take a finance course at Columbia and was opportunistic enough to actually find an internship at Smith Barney, which I knew nothing about back then, but I thought, oh, that's a finance name. I'm going to take an internship there. That parlayed into a CSA position, which eventually became a consulting group analyst position. And a few years ago during the crisis, I thought, why not? I'm going to try out to become a financial advisor. I mean, I have to try to take a risk and, and do something different. And it was during that time period when I realized that I love working with clients. I love helping them move from black and white to seeing in color, taking the different pieces of their lives, piecing it together and seeing the big picture of things. My passion is for art, but I have a gift for finance. And these are a few of the things that define me. There are different shades and colors to success. And for my parents, the foundation pillars of this were hard work and education. But mine also include following my passion, following my heart, and yes, listening to my mother's advice. So I say this to you. Find the tiger mom in your life. She will be your greatest supporter. Thank you. Thank you.